I bought this stock Mustang GT and I spent the last three weeks turning it into a full-blown drift car. And we made it to the track, so let's go drive. All right, guys, we are all tucked in and I am terrified to drive this thing. My heart is just pounding right now. My, if you guys are new to the channel, my old drift car was an A86 and it made about 100 horsepower and I ran 175 all season tires on it. This thing makes about 300 horsepower and I'm running 235, 240 treadwear tires on this thing. So it should be not only just a huge jump in horsepower, but a massive jump in grip as well. So I'm pretty nervous to get this thing out on the track and see how fast it feels. Oh boy, boys, here we go. I forget how to drive. needs to be bled but oh god this thing feels good I'm a Mustang guy, man. This thing is sick. <laughs> Me too. But <laughs> oh, dude, they look good. Was it was it smoky? Oh, a ton. Yeah. Yeah, like was it smoky? Like <laughs> yeah. Man, as soon as I could get the angle set, I just mad at it. And I could, I was looking in the side mirrors, I could see the smoke. I was so fired up. Oh, it felt like it. It felt fast. All right, the car is feeling sick so far. If you guys are new to the channel, let me give you a quick rundown before I take it out on the big track and end up thrashing on this thing. So it's a 2006 Ford Mustang GT. It's all stock driveline, except for a welded diff. I redid the entire interior. I did, got a pair of these Prisma, uh, Energy Prisma bucket seats, as well as a Energy Prisma steering wheel. And I put in a Chase Bay's hand, Chase Bay's handbrake. It's only sort of working right now, but I also don't have a lot of experience with handbrakes. Pop the hood for you real quick here. Ooh, it's hot under here. So it's a bone stock three valve. It's got the stock five speed in it. I did weld the diff, which ended up being a huge headache that turned into like a four day job. But so far the car runs great, got lots of power. As far as suspension goes, it's got a, as you can tell by the stickers, it's got an FDF Mantis angle kit, which gives like 65 degrees of steering angle. It's something insane. It's got feel coil overs front and back, which is the first time I've had a proper set of coil overs on a car. And so far they feel incredible. I, but yeah, it's, it's a pretty simple setup and uh, so far it's feeling great. So let's take it out on the big track and see how it does. It's honestly kind of hard to drive this thing through the pits because it's stock exhaust, so it's really quiet. And there's a lot of really loud cars here, so I keep stalling it. I feel really good about the car, but I was just told if you go off more than twice, they're kicking you off to the skid pad. So um, that's not a lot of times to go off for drifting in a brand new car. So we're going to do our best here. We'll, we'll play it kind of conservatively to start out. Okay, here we go. This is a way bigger car than the Corolla. I'm not used to this. We'll play it 
kind of conservative. But... <laughs> that was a hard hit. Sounds so strange. Is that a DB? Oh yeah, <laughs> big time. That was stupid. DB? Yeah. Oh, I think the tire's fine. That's why I bought reps. Yeah, damaged the first wheel. Yeah. Yeah. Broke the ice. All right, I didn't fix that tire, but I just swapped to a new set of tires and then uh, track got shut down for lunch. So got a belly full of poutine right now. New set of tires and we're gonna go out on the track. Chances are it's gonna be pretty busy because uh, everybody just had lunch and everyone's all fired up to get back out there. So the car is feeling really good, but I find that this car's got so much power and grip that I go through a corner and I'm going way too quick to transition and make it through the next corner. I end up going off on the second corner every time. So I'm gonna go back out on the skid pad and I'm gonna try to practice doing really tight corners and try to get the hang of maybe using my handbrake or left foot braking or whatever, whatever I can do to try to tighten up my corners and then we'll take it back out to the track again. So I'm gonna try to get the hang of using this handbrake. I don't have a lot of experience with the handbrake and it wasn't really locking up last time. And I, it could be that there's air in the lines, but it also might be that the rear pads were really cold. So I'm gonna try to drag the handbrake a little bit here and get some heat into the pads. I just tapped those tires, but I guess I gave her a pretty good, pretty good uh, tire mark on there and knocked a uh, signal light loose, but that's okay. Adds to the uh, the other marks that were already on the bumper. It actually kind of looks cool. All right, I feel way better using that handbrake. Let's go out on the main track. See right 
I definitely should have clutch kicked earlier, but I couldn't hear the car. I could just tell that it was bogging. I could feel that it was bogging. But that doesn't help me a whole lot. No, is that a yellow flag? I don't know what that guy's doing. the steering feels when you're not in drift it's a, you gotta really muscle this thing but when it's drifting it feels great it's it's wild god i love i'm a mustang guy this car feels so freaking good oh god i i don't know if the power steering pump is getting hot or if it's dead because this thing is not easy to drive right now i can feel it groaning in my hands oh yeah wow that is hard to steer car did fantastic way better than I expected it is a lot easier to drive than I thought definitely needs some work before the next event but it's only two weeks away so we're gonna have some more content coming thanks for watching guys